Hello, hello, everyone. Um, we are off to battle here. Um, so I'm going to be back in Warno. I haven't been here in a while, and I'm playing as the Motostrecki. Uh, I think it's the 39th. Uh, I meant to play as another one, and I meant to make this whole build, and then I didn't select it and the game started, but it kind of worked out. And also, we're on the new map, uh, Twin Cities, which I think is super fun. So um, I'm going to be going after this area where I'm taking, going to be trying to take over this middle building area and then also um, Charlie. And then um, I'm being uh, getting some help over here on the right where this guy's taking over golf. The reason why I chose this is because I am... Um, an infantry unit and I thought I could plop some of my infantry up in these cities and kind of keep them safe from you know getting completely polarized um so that is what I am doing um we uh I got some ATGMs over here trying to watch the road for anybody coming through I'm also you know trying to stop these um AA planes from taking out uh, some of my helicopters and whatnot especially this command unit my goal with this command unit actually wasn't to even contest anything. It was just to give veterancy to my um, to my regular units. And I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this, but you actually don't have to have your command unit inside a command zone as long as there isn't, you know, another commander in that zone. Then you will have to have someone in there. But already big mistake. I actually made a big oopsies and... Um, Sent out an AA unit. I got a little too aggressive there, but I haven't played in months. I mean, literally like months. I think it's been like five months. So, kind of like learning all the meta here, and like there's snipers now. Like what? There are snipers? Let's take a look at them. I didn't even know these were a thing, but man, look how cool they look. Look at that. They're all in their ghillie suits, just chilling. We got the M3 A1 Bradley. Got some Abrams. So I kind of figured that they were gonna have some people here, but before we uh, go over here. Let's take a look at what's going on in Twin Cities right now. We got ourselves a freaking infantry battle. Or about to be. They're setting up right now. They have no idea, but it's about to happen. So over here, um, what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to make sure I have a hold of this city. Because I felt like if I had a hold of this city, I would be able to control my flank. And then I would be able to kind of watch this road. And just have a pretty good idea. And I guess they didn't really care to take too much of it. So they kind of haven't yet. Looks like we have some uh, contesting here. He hasn't tried to put up any command units yet, but I'm sure he'll be sending them soon. And this one is just a full-on open field, so if you're going to do that, you got to have a lot of infantry. And this Harrier's coming in, trying to see if he can take out some AA. I don't think he was expecting <laughs> that much uh, anti-air to fire back at him. So my strategy with this build, or what I had with this strategy a long, long time ago... Goodness gracious, man. Okay, we get it. You crashed. Um, was I have infantry units, and then I use the BMPs or the BMDs and BTRs and what have you as like additional infantry units. So I unload, and then I have these guys who would also help. Can I turn this off? Ah, ah. I feel like I'm listening to tennis. Yeah, and this M1 Abrams was the bane of my existence, or his tanks were. But that's a pretty good ATM shot. Did nominal damage, nothing too crazy. But it's doing what it should be doing, and I think um, soon I will be calling in an AT plane to see if we can take this guy out. He is bringing up some military police that are about that are gonna flank my ATGM. But man, they don't do it. They're not doing any damage. But let's take a look over here. So right now we're at a plus one, and oh, and here comes my AT plane. You can just see this firefight. That's what we all really care about. But let's see what this AT, let's see what this plane does here. He's flying. He's heading for this M1 Abrams. Let's see if we can get him. The ATGM is, I mean, he's really being risky with that M1 Abrams, like really pushing hard. I think he's trying to get this uh, anti-air, or this, uh, and then we took out the tank. Yep, just save, just in time saving the uh, commander unit. But unfortunately, um, these guys are in trouble, and now he's bringing up those guys, and I realize, okay, this dude's not going to hold. i got to start protecting this area. I've seen no enemies on his side, and he hasn't brought them up at all. And if he did, I probably would win. So now my plan is, I'm like, all right, guess I'm going to try and take over this, uh, this whole area here. And instantly, someone's already surrendered. I don't know why they do that, but, you know, that's just who they are. I guess, oh, this dude, yeah, he, he just didn't play very well. 
and now um, he surrendered. But honestly, sometimes that can be even worse because they uh, just go crazy. Oh, we got a Nighthawk over here. That's a new one. It's in a big old explosion. Look at this, man. Oh, and he got the commander unit. That's a big blow for the red team. They packed. So yeah, this looks awesome. Got some flame units. Uh, got the new uh, machine gun unit. Ooh. Big explosion. This area, pretty quiet. Over here, nothing too crazy. I sent my AA out way too far. I was trying to take out some infantry. And now I'm trying to take out his, uh, I took out one of his recon helicopters. Not a really good trade there. But this is when I began, I'm like, all right, I gotta step it up, y'all. So I do have some infantry units here. And I realized, I was like, man, there is no cover. <laughs> and these guys are just in trouble. I'm trying to get them in the trees. I honestly might have been failing on my micro here. Totally failed in my micro in that instance. He's not dead yet. He actually does a pretty good job staying alive. And I'm just getting absolutely wrecked. Let's see what's going on on this side. Explosions. We got MLRS. Oh, the TOS. Sorry. Just raining havoc on these guys. Taking out that infantry unit. Another Nighthawk uh, fire. Is he going to shoot? I see it. I see something. Oh. Oh. I don't look like anything hit. I think he's dropping smoke so he can move his infantry up. Pretty smart. Pretty smart. I did get a rocket unit here. I'm hoping I can do something, but he does have a stinger unit. That just absolutely annihilates me. Just no chance. I do have this one tank. I'm really honestly just trying to keep it safe, but he has a really well-placed um, LARS, and I'm surprised he has his guns on, but they can't really do anything. And that Bradley is literally just destroying my tank. I did try and uh, pop a smoke, but even then, I think I still get killed. And uh, this dude just uh, has totally got this side covered; doesn't have to worry about it. And then look at this fire! Look at this shot that's about to happen. This uh, this Bradley. How far is that? Two thousand meters. I'm like reversing, I'm like no! Boom! Dead, dude. Shame indeed. These sniper units are still kicking. As you can see, I'm starting to kind of form my line here. Got ourselves a little bit of a tank battle. You really, when you zoom in, it like really puts in perspective just how far away they're shooting. Yeah, and it looks like he's got these units here, but he's just too afraid to move them up. I can't really tell. I mean, it looks like uh, it's kind of a stalemate, but it looks like Monostrecki is like, you know, they're taking more of it, so. But he's got a lot of units here, and man, he's having fun with these Nighthawks, that's for certain. For certain, for certain. Oh, Nighthawk down. That's an expensive unit to lose. And I try and use these guys. I'm like, yeah, let's use these guys. This will be fun. Yeah, these guys are going to be so good. And they're dead. Oh man, I'm so excited. Trying to get some ATGMs up. I'm trying to do anything. I'm just, honestly, I'm just trying to like stay alive because as long as I don't lose this section, we're fine. <laughs> like we're gonna win. We got ourselves a F11, F11F. We'll be able to do anything. He dropped something. Didn't look like it did much. I know they did a nerf on uh, planes and some people are happy and some people are mad. It's kind of a mixed bag. Yeah, losing those vehicles, I don't really care. Like, you can hear a plane coming for him. I got two missiles coming for this one Abrams, and he smokes it just in time. What a great play by a Quinn Rankin. Very good job. I don't smoke mine in time, and I lose my tank. Those will take out the Bradley. Nope, it's a miss, unfortunate. We got another one. Come on, ATGMs. I really like these, but they're not really working for me. And he's gone. He did nothing. He just died. Yeah, I think he's like, guys, come on. What are we doing here? So I, I'm thinking, I'm like, I need some artillery or something. He's sending out a cluster bomb. Let's take a look at this one. See what he's doing with the cluster bomb. Let's see where he drops it. At this point, I did lose my commander unit. So he's trying to help me out here. Does he do any damage? Did he get anything out? Yeah, he wasn't even able to fire it. Man, this recon guy did not die. He's just... Still kicking, probably seeing everything. 
I do have some BMP units. He has this one ATGM unit right here. Let's take a look at the city battle. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. You just gotta, sometimes you just gotta turn off the HUD, you know. Anyways, uh, so they're at a plus one right now, so the tides have kind of changed. Um, but what I've started to do is I have picked up my artillery. This dude has really got a pretty good baseline right now. They have some snipers out there as well. This is a different sniper unit. Kind of out in the open a little bit, but also still in the trees. Man, you actually, like, it's kind of hard to see them. Where even are they? Oh, there they are. Like, Matt, I want to see the battle. I don't want to look at snipers that are green. Yeah, so he's helping me out, sending some KPZs to just try and watch my flank for me. At this point in time, I'm still, like, not too worried because I still have a commander unit here, but I'm mainly doing this so I can protect my guys. I really should have just, like, moved up my units, and I probably could have, like, done some more damage, but at this point in time, I just didn't really see a point, to be honest. So after I dropped off my units... I was like, hmm, I'll set up my BMDs, and I'll just kind of have them, like, form around, and then I'll send in a commander unit, and then they'll just kind of be around these BMDs, and I'm going to get, like, AA, and I'll be all set up. And that was kind of my plan. And then now this guy's just kind of shooting at some... Shooting some of his artillery. Let's see what he, where he's shooting. I think I'm shooting at these mech rifles. Yeah. Is that even doing anything? Not very effective fire, but, you know, it's there. Oh, it looks like it's going to land. Oh, yeah, that did some damage. That hurt. So now I'm kind of getting my infantry up so I can... I'm trying to, like, form my lineup farther so I can give myself some leeway. And uh, they finally find this recon guy, so he's going to go blind now after we take that out, which we did. And this city is just a bloody battle. Oh, man. My frames! My frames! Look at that, man. Just look at all of these guys. Look how many they got over here and all together. Just one. He's got a lot of people, but they're cheap. They're military police, so they're not very like powerful units. So he's dropping out a tow unit. Some good timing on that. I'm bringing up my rocket helicopter to see if I can kind of put some pressure. But very smartly, he has his chaparrales and his stinger, which I guess the chaparral has better range than my helicopter on this tank right there, which I find kind of crazy. And then here comes my uh, command unit to turn the tide of the battle. And I dig it in an AT helicopter right now at this point. I'm like, there's no point in pressing. They've already surrendered one dude. We have this in hand. He's got me on my left. I'm not going to suppress anymore. Ooh, a napalm. That'll do it. So now in my mind, I'm like, I'm just going to shore up my defenses here. He's not pressing me on the city. I'm just going to chill. I'm a vibe. I'm going to hang out. He totally forgot to take out one of his uh, tow units. They're still in the car. They probably could have shot my BMP by now. Or BMD. So they're not pushing. And like I guess they're what they're trying to do is they're trying to accumulate before they push. Man, this one is like what I'm just always thinking about. Just look at this, man. Lots of machine guns. Insanity. He's got some helicopters. Very cool. It's awesome. Freaking awesome. Yeah, so there's a tow unit. I, I couldn't see him. Like, look, he's just out of line of sight. Just out of line of sight. Just where I can't see him. He's going to blow up my hell. He's trying to blow up this dude. He just, uh, it like glitched out. But yeah, he hit him. And these mech rifles are getting shot up. But I got some more artillery. I almost did do like a line of smoke and like send up some things. But I just didn't want to risk it. We're at plus three now. Because he's effectively taking this. Everyone's doing much better than me. Though I haven't played in months. So I deserve some leeway. Ah! Ah! And right now, yeah, he's just kind of helping me with the recon. We're just kind of... It's just kind of a waiting game. I got these dudes chilling right here. He's doing a pretty good job. But that, Zant, that T-80 is pretty close to that Jaeger. Gonna get hit on the side. Oof, that hurts. All I can say is I'm glad I wasn't over here. I would have probably lost us the game. 
It's got Berlin light rifles. Very nice. Yeah, he's he's definitely losing the fight though. Blue guy is uh, not doing well. You're a plane? Is that a plane? Where? Oh, that's we got a plane here. What's he doing? What's he up to? Oh, I think I was going after this guy, and I think he gets blown up before I can even get to him. Oh no, I fire. Oh yeah, and I just took out one of his tanks. I was about to flank Art uh, uh, Artfer. I was like, nope, not today. I was like, get out of there, run, and he just escapes in time. So now they're trying to do a push, and I. T They're just kind of, they're kind of there. But, I don't know what i do with these guys, actually. Yeah, and he starts hitting me with artillery. And he, he gets pretty good shots on me. Um, you know, and due to me, like, not playing for a while, I was kind of like, what am I doing? See, so these mech rifles are getting close, and they start pushing on my descent. descent. And what I'm trying to do is hit them with my Humvee, or with my uh, Humvees, my uh, artillery. We're doing some damage to him though. The T64, Super Brian, uh, he was the guy that was over here. He was over here, but I guess, yeah, oh, you went over there. Not really sure what the plan was with just having these units there. These mech rifles are sandwiched right now. And Quinn uh, kind of gave up as well. And I think this is kind of like the a slow, slow burn of uh, where they're just like, yeah, that's it. Soperies are moving up, but they're just going to get wrecked. Thing is, I could have done a pretty big offensive. My AT is going to come in and take out that tank. And then he's just going to try and get out of dodge and probably get shot down. Or he's not. Oh, no, he gets shot down. So at this point, I really could have done a pretty big offensive. Because I had a lot of units. I had eight. I had anti-air. I had tanks, all the jazz. But relatively a quick game, funnily enough. Um... And, you know, I actually had the most conquest, so I held the most, but I just didn't really kill a lot because I was just playing purely defensive. Um, didn't really want to push up too much. I was just kind of like making sure I was doing well. Quinn had a great game, did a lot of kills, uh, and he was the one who was attacking me, funnily enough, and I just had to hold my, uh, hold my ground for as long as I possibly can. Um, you can take out the kills and losses here, so look, like I did like nothing. Um, BTR took out uh what? All right, that's very interesting. A BTR ZD took out a plane, okay. SU25 this one took out two Abrams. That's pretty pretty good value for uh paying for the plane to take out two Abrams. We uh this I always like using these helicopters as infantry killers, so it took out two infantry members. Not really worth it. A took out a recon plane, not worth it. T64 nothing. BMD Humvee and LRS T60. Oh, we killed the snipers. I missed that. That's unfortunate. They got shot by the tanks. SU-25. Uh, another one took out an Abrams. Uh, these guys took out that. You know, really, honestly, didn't really do much. Um, Abrams took out a couple of my guys. It was really his anti-air that killed me a lot. Chaparral, Stinger, A plane. Uh, this Bradley, honestly, was really just destroying me. Um, yeah, his Bradleys were really doing well. Even his M1 Abrams took out four units right there. And his toe. Yeah, that one, I mean, okay. Well, the, the it was two BMDs who, you know, I didn't really care about. He took out one of my logistics, which was kind of a big loss, but not really too big of a deal. But yeah, um, wanted to wanted to make a video on Warno. It's been a while. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to actually remember to play as the new deck, so it's like new stuff. But hopefully, I'll be making some more videos, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. See you later.